And we're live. Uh, today is Monday, the 13th of August, already already halfway through August. It's crazy how fast this month is passing. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, cool. So I'll, I'll just start. Um, uh, hey, Vikas. Hey, you're able to make it. Hello. Cool. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. Um, I was just about to start. Um, yeah, so for me, um, I guess over the weekend, um, did the weekend collaboration and studied some. Um, I finally got the fifth week of the CS169 course um, turned in. Um, and yeah, then we yeah just hung out and did more week two stuff. Um, we have a, uh, a new guy who joined us from Dallas, Texas on Saturday and Sunday this this uh, this weekend. So that was really cool. And um, yeah, um, I guess um, blockers. I don't have any blockers today. I'm going to. I have a, a PR that I for website one that I put in um, that has like right now three different. Um, Kind of things going on and sam was uh, saying that it'd probably be better to break it up into three different prs so you can get things um merged in faster and and see so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do that um and yeah today's a busy day actually we have um coming up in what in 30 minutes we have the um agile ventures marketing meeting um and then after that we have the auto graders um, client meeting and we have the av community um meeting as well later today so i'm going to do that and hopefully get a chance to do some pairing today as well um and that's me uh tanita you're the next in how's it going with you um, um yeah, nothing, nothing much, much right, right? Um, mostly i've just been learning ruby from uh mostly learning Ruby, and then I started I started setting up got website one on my machine, still running into errors. The Docker setup, I don't know, yeah, how to go about that. Okay, yep. um, so I, maybe in the after scrum we could have a look at that. Um, have a minute. Um, okay. when you say you're learning Ruby, um, are you taking the CS one sixty nine course? Or are you um, doing? Oh, no. <laughs> Code candy me mostly. I've not started the course on. Okay. Yeah. No um, I know Daniel's. Um, he's on week one, and he yeah. was talking about on Saturday. He's going to do. He's gonna meet like thirty minutes before we meet at at, um, at five p.m. UTC to to go through um, week one homework. So if maybe maybe that would work with you as well. Um, but. Okay. I think I just yeah, even you. me, I'm week one. I'm in week one, too. Ah, cool. Awesome. So, yeah, yeah. maybe we can coordinate things by Slack. Yeah, okay. but I haven't finished the Code Academy tutorial mm -hmm. for Ruby. Yeah. Yeah, so they can be, yeah, they can be done simultaneously. Um, okay. It depends, you know, like, uh, I guess, if the uh, on, on the person and, and making sure you're comfortable and stuff. But, um, yeah. Cool. And so yeah. any anything blocking you? I, I mean, it sounds like getting set up for website one is blocking you. Yeah, even me too. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So, um, I, yeah, I guess maybe we need to have a look at that. Um, I, I, I mean, just quickly, I guess, like, um, have have either of you tried the the um, the Docker instance recently? Because that's that's working for. Um, I've been using that to develop with Mike because he's a, he's on um, a Mac Mac OS as well, um, and he's been able to just use that. Yeah, yeah, I'm cloning the repo again because I had a bunch of stuff that we had tried and modified some yeah. files. So yep. I just want to run it again. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So maybe yeah. Let's let's have a better look in the in the after scope. And Mike's with us. Hey, Mike. Hey. Hey, guys. Um. So thank you, Tanil. Um. And anything in particular that you're gonna do that you wanna you wanna highlight, Tanil, or like today? Sorry? Is there anything in particular you're gonna do today that you wanna tell us about? No. 
At the moment, I just wanted to ensure I have the website one set up, and I think I'll also just sync up with Joseph to uh, get on the week one course to understand how what's done on that end, and so that I'm up to date with the rest of the team. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. So I, I guess I'll have to talk to Mike a, a, a little bit, um, maybe um, on Slack or in there after. So, hey, Rodrigo. Um, uh, yeah, but um, we we have been, I guess, last week, Mike and I were um, we're preparing on some beginner friendly issues for website one as well. So um, it, it, maybe we're going to have a pairing session today on that. So everyone's welcome as well um, to, to come try to um, do some stuff with Ruby on an actual open source project. So, um, and Joseph, you're the next in. Yeah, uh, yeah, same as Tonida. I'm trying to set up website one on my local machine and um, currently leveling up on the Ruby on Rails calls at Code Academy. And at uh, the same time, I'm on week one on edX course, uh, the course for Ruby. So, yeah, that will be off. Cool. And um, I guess um, maybe um, blocking you as well as the website one setup, which it feels like maybe we need to, maybe if if all of us could um, work together to figure it out and maybe update the, the readme for website one, because it, it seems like um, maybe it's outdated. I don't know. I, I, I find it interesting that um, you all are working on the same operating system and, and having trouble. So um, yeah, it'd be nice to, to get that worked out. Yep. Cool. Awesome. Uh, Vikas. Okay, on the weekend, other Kalma break down to the Kalma table. And all I have to do now because I want to remove the scheduler. So get have about the second. Still yep. anyway I'll I'll try to put the pull the request and see how it goes nice to say about it. And that's all. Yeah, you're. It's a little bit difficult to hear you, um, because it's really quiet for me. At least, it's really quiet, and and you are breaking up a little bit. But I think what I heard was um, over the weekend you were working on that ticket for the the karma breakdown for website one, and you want to get that put in today, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> but you are having some issues. Is that correct, or I'm not very clear about what to do in that. Take it, but still, oh. I will put it something on pull request and you know, yeah, make it work in progress and see how it goes. Yeah, cool. And um, yeah, I'm still available um at 5 p.m. um today if you wanted to to set up an event for for um another pairing session with um with myself or with um other people who want to join and we maybe we can have a look at it together. Um, I think uh, you know, un unfortunately, I think I I can't answer some of those specific questions because because um that's that's Sam who who would be able to answer those, but um, but yeah, like it doesn't sound like anything that that's maybe blocking. Just maybe we need to put in either put in the PR and get some clarification, or or um, ask a question there and get some clarification. But but yeah. Cool. And Rodriguez, um, I don't know um, if you're having some connectivity issues. Seems uh, joining and uh, joining and coming and leaving and joining and leaving and joining and leaving. Um, you uh, um, you don't need to say anything if you don't want to. You can certainly just listen in. But um, if you'd like to check in, we're just answering like what we've done, what we're gonna do, and if there's anything blocking us. Yeah, hi. So I'm new to the to the venture network, uh, and uh, it's a it's a pleasure to be part of of this joining. I've been thinking about this for the last I don't know what two years, two and a half years, yeah. since I I joined the boot camp in Sweden, uh, Ruby, uh, maybe for the first time two years ago. 
I uh, graduated that last year in February and haven't really coded since, although I have given the the junior students some support uh, when I was uh, engaged in that operation. So it feels a bit daunting to get back to coding again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I hope to join some project where I could just grab a small issue and start hacking away at it uh, and see how, how far I can get. So oh. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, welcome. Um, Thanks. And yeah, we um, I I don't know if I if anyone shared with you the list of our um our, our most active projects there on the on the um, one of the um channels. Yes, yeah, I saw your post about it, and I was looking into the different alternatives, and I I got uh, interested in two of them, but I think I will go with the eighth SHF project for to start oh, cool. with. Yeah, because that's um that's based out of Sweden, isn't it? It looks like so. Yeah. Cool. And also, I, it was a suggestion of Sam's as well. Oh, nice. Um, there's there's a meeting about that today, maybe? Yeah. I think I saw something around 4, 4.30, right? Yeah, 4.30 UTC. There's a um, sprint review and, and planning. Cool. Awesome. And um, as far as, um, <clears throat> like I said um, earlier, I don't know if you, I can't remember if you had joined or not, but um, we're at some point, either today or this week, like, Last week, I feel like we were trying to do it almost every day, but um, we're going to be pairing on on website one, which is like um, um, is a, a nickname for the Agile Ventures website. So, mm -hmm. um, and there's a couple beginner friendly tickets. Um, some of them are not like one of them is not to do with Ruby really. It's kind of more of a UI UX design thing, um, mm -hmm. and the other one I think. Pretty much, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty similar, actually, to be honest. Um, but yeah, and then I have that that ticket I'm working on as well that anyone's welcome to join me on as well. So feel free to to join us Great. on that. Yeah, so, yeah, I will. I like the, the fact that you have also have a middleman set up. Yeah. Why are there two websites? Um. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think the the no, to be honest, I don't know how to no? answer. Maybe it's just you know for practice sakes. Yeah, practice purposes. I know one. So I think like one of the websites is just for more for marketing. I think, and one of them is is like the 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 one that's Ruby on Rails and and is connected to the database and has like all the users and you know you're able to create events and so it's 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 more for for developers to use to to get connected with each other on on um, scrums and and pair hookups and and that kind of thing. Sorry, which one was that? That's the website one. The I get, I can share my screen with you. Um, I I, I think you've probably seen it before, but um. And this one here, yeah, yeah, that's the one I was checking into to see the entirety of the projects. Yeah, so this is the one that we've been doing. Some we have the the waffle um, that we've been working through. Like we kind of um, so we're meeting every weekend um, for like a study group to work through the CS one sixty nine course. And so then we kind of had the idea like, oh, since there's beginner friendly stuff on. Um, that why don't we like actually um, try to put to use some of the things we're learning and and get in the habit of um, contributing to an open source project? And so we've been meeting and and um, working through some of that stuff. So yeah, like I said, we're working on um, this A10. Um, Vikas was talking earlier about this 1295 that um, they're hopefully going to get a PR in um, today or tomorrow or something. And then we have this this one here as well. The Slack icon's not displaying. And there's lots of these air break um, issues in production um, that I know we're trying to, to get worked through because like the majority of the issues that we have on website one are these air break issues. So um, it'd be nice to try to figure out what's going on with that. Yeah, sounds good. Looks good. What's an air break? Um, so air break is a, a gem that um, monitors the production and it's a, uh, I guess it can be configured or um, to to um, automatically add it as an issue. Um, so, like it'll when it when it encounters issues in production, it'll just you know log them for us, so we can work through them. 
What's this C169 thing? So CS169 is um, the MOOC uh, from EDX, which is um, the, um, it's a, a free um, course that's from the University of Berkeley. That's really, really amazing. Um, and they have like a basics and they have an advanced. So right now we're going through the basics, although there is in parallel people who are going to be starting going through the advanced, like um, including myself. So like uh, it's a seven week course if you include like negative um, week, negative one and week zero, which is um, which is like getting getting set up in your environment and going through the Code Academy Ruby course. Um, and then, yeah, starting from week one like um that we're going to be i guess going going back a little bit with with some people and going through week one homework and we're currently in week two homework um and yeah it, it just covers ruby basics but it's also like uh it's agile development using ruby and rails so um it goes through developing SaaS apps you know um mm -hmm. software as a service apps mm -hmm. so yeah, and it goes. Yeah, it uses um, BDD and TDD and, and that kind of stuff. I'm not sure if so, you. Sounds like a great course for me to kind of get back into old habits. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, the the homework is 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 not easy. It, it, you know, it's challenging, but it's it's. I think like definitely, especially since we have like um, a group of people like working through it together. It's it's nothing that's that's um, you know, that's that's too too punk you know yeah i would love to have the link for that because i already have an account with edX and uh i have some courses i need to go through there can you can you make your way over to the um the weekend collaboration um channel on slack and i'll, I'll post a link there sure cool um and then uh i guess um it sounds like we had um some did we want to so we're i guess we're in the after scrum which is where we have like, um, I guess I shared my screen so no one can see me, but you have, you have like some water movements and dancing and stuff. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, so it sounds like we have a couple. Did we want to have a look, um, uh, Tanita, at your issues with um, getting set up on website one? Um, yeah. Um, let me share my screen. Yep. Um, and Joseph, you're you're um, are you when you say you're cloning the repo, you are doing that in the background now, or you're saying just yeah, now? yeah, now it's done. Okay, now cool. All right. So I guess at some point you can share your screen as well. Um, can you? Yeah. So did you have you pulled down the latest changes, Tanita? Yeah, for the developer case. Right? Yeah. yeah. And they think it should be set up as the upstream, get pull upstream mm. develop. Uh, oh. oh, Mike. Ah, I don't even know if actually Mike checked in with us. I think I, f yeah. What have changed? Let's see. Yeah. What? So a conflict in your Docker file. Uh, there's a couple conflicts. Um, actually, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you don't mind, actually, you could um, instead of going through each of those conflicts one by one, you could mm -hmm. do like a get reset um, uh, upstream forward slash develop uh, minus minus hard. Upstream forward forward yeah. slash. Yeah, no space, just uh, in between the in between the upstream and the develop, just upstream forward slash develop, and then minus minus hard. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then now you can try running the Docker instance again with the um a, like uh, period or dot in the Docker setup. Yep, exactly. Hi. So that should work. Um, yeah, you have there are some errors at the there. The, maybe it'd be nice to do away mm -hmm. with those. But the, you only need to run the setup once, so that'll that'll take a minute to run through. Um, I don't know, Joseph, if you're, if you're ready to share your screen, you can have a look there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 
So do I do Docker Compose app or I've just cloned right now? Um, yeah, I mean, there's a, I guess there's a couple different, I mean, probably the easiest way maybe would be to use the Docker, but um, you would need to build it from, so you would need to do that same, the, um, the like um, pull down from the upstream, oh, you just cloned it, right? So um, then you would do the-, the uh, I don't know if yeah, it's up to date with- Yeah, so you do- But um, that's my fork. This is my fork, not the the- yeah, that's okay. If you do, um, if you do, yeah. So you can set up a remote, but right now, it, like you said, because you just cloned it from the the latest um, development, you just do like um, uh, period forward slash Docker forward slash setup um, uh, dot sh, and that'll run the same script that um, Tanita is running at the moment. I don't have Docker. Hold up. So then, that le yeah, that leads me to believe that you don't have the latest. Yeah, let me add the, oops, the remote. Yeah, add that stream and see if you can pull down. And Anita, you're unpacking all the. Mm -hmm. okay. Um. Yeah. So Mike um said he had to join another call, but um, but said that he was just had the car stuff to, to um. Ah, cool. Awesome. So, Rodrigo, is, you're fast. You're able to find it already. <laughs> and website one as well. Cool. I mean, ultimately, like, I think the easiest thing for us to do would be these Docker stuff, but the, there are some annoyances about, um, about working with Docker that um, mm -hmm. we're, we're actually still trying to work through because um, right now the way it is is that, is that um, if, you're working on, um, if you're working on doing local development with Docker, the way our, our Docker um, is set up, it doesn't actually track the changes. And so like you can't uh, just refresh the, um, you can't just refresh the page and see the changes that you made. Oh. Um, so yeah, um, the, the thing is you have to like do the Docker compose up um, with a, a build tag, which like rebuilds, but uses caching. So it, it it's, faster than building it like right now, but it's still annoying that you need to actually rebuild it. Um, yeah. So we're working through that. And like, you know, ultimately if, if, if you can get set up locally, it's, it's preferable. Um, so yeah. And, and also it'd be nice for, for us to try to work out that problem. Um, you know, so every time one one makes a change, you have to run to compose. Yeah. You to see the changes. Which yeah, which is annoying. Um, yeah. It, it takes extra time, and you know, like if you want to make if if you, if you like make a change, and then you and then you rebuild it, and then you go there, and you're like, oh man, I I spelled something wrong. Then you need to go there, and you need to like about the cracks way and then go and change it again. So yeah, I mean, ultimately it would be nice to come to, cause I'm not sure if like you, I'm not sure if you, if you, you, um, Tanita, if you and Joseph, if you are both having the same issues with them, um, with getting set up on, um, with, with, it sounds like you're not having the same issue, but. Yeah. Cause I think I'd, I'd started it. Docker instance, and I think for him, he was just running the other setup before the Docker team was. Yeah, but I feel like we got to Docker with you because you had issues with getting it set up locally as well. Did was, am I remembering correctly, or? Oh, the first the thing was like we not install uh, Ruby, right? Ruby two point five, and then I yeah, finally right. got it, set up, but I think by then already the. Uh, Docker setup was working, 
So that's why I went straight to the Docker way. So yeah. I never got to, yeah, to, to set up using the older setup that was there. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So I guess we can see if this works, and then if it works, then then at least um, at least you can definitely start working and contributing, and then um, mm -hmm. and then depending on how annoyed you get using this, we can we can try to work in parallel to get you set up locally. Yeah. If that sounds good. Yeah. Um, and should go. I? What's the yeah? What's the best practice? Like, should you do Git pull? I did Git pull. Yep. From the original yep. repo to yep. developer, right. or should I have rebased? No, uh, well, you can do a get pull. The thing is, is that if you, I mean, it's preferable to, to, to just pull on the latest changes. Um, I think like um, like we did a get reset with Tanita and, and I've done with a couple other people before, like um, because you're, you're on the develop branch, um, and also your your it's been i don't think tinny has actually been doing any like contributing um because she hasn't been able to to, to have right i think it's mostly to do with time but um anyway so like it's mm -hmm. it's kind of i guess safe to assume that um you want to just reset whatever your develop is um which is maybe really out of date um to instead of working through all the merge conflicts but like if you look at the contributing um documents for the website one it'll say to do git pull um upstream develop in this case yours uh, would be agile development um like you know, sometimes many times you know it, it says like in the busy in the busy times every, every couple hours be, be pulling down um the changes so um yeah i think that's you you want to be careful about resetting um Although on the develop branch, like you shouldn't be making changes to your develop branch at all. So um, I think maybe it'd be okay. But um, but like, yeah, you wanna be, you wanna be careful resetting because if you reset hard, like you can lose, you can permanently lose um, changes. So you, you might not wanna do that. Um, like if you're, for example, the other day I was, um, I was trying to find out, um, there was like, I had a couple commits and, and I wasn't running all the suite of tests, um, in between like, um, kit, um, um, in between the, the, the commits and, and pushing stuff up. And I had, there was like some failing tests that like, looked like it had nothing to do with what I was doing. And then, I, I had to go back and try to figure out where it was introduced, you know? So then like, if you want to do that, you can just get checkout and, and, and the commit and, and then you won't be losing all the other stuff. So you can jump back and forth from, from commits. Okay. So, cool. Um, I guess you're Tanita, you're, um, at the part where you're bundle installing all the, um, of the dependencies. And mm -hmm. yeah, I guess, well, it looks like you're both at the same place, which means maybe Joseph's machine's beating yours, Danita. <laughs> oh my God, you have the same machine now, is it? It's a race. <laughs> <laughs> what? Maybe it's uh, the power of VS Code. He's, he, I, I noticed he's using VS Code, so. Oh. Or maybe I'm running a lot of things. It could be as well, yeah. Um, I have another 15 minutes. I'm, um, I don't know if anyone's going to head over to the marketing meeting, but um, the marketing meeting is starting in 15 minutes. So, um, yeah, but I think by then we should be done with this, hopefully. Um, I What's don't think. meeting um, About marketing? <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I've only been to a couple of them, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. So I think we just talk in general about um, about um, just different marketing ideas um, that we have for Agile Ventures and how to help um, how to help it, our community grow and, um, you know, like, um, I guess, like plan events that, that are related to, to trying to raise the visibility or get people more active or more excited or, you know, that, that kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. 
So I I think there's definitely gonna be I've 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 def I've started I think last week I started the marketing meeting and nobody showed up. Um, but I think today there's for sure gonna be um more than just me. So um, I'm I'm interested to see what that's um, yeah. I think uh, Mike maybe is gonna come back and join us. Um, uh, this is the part where mine was failing install installing copy bar web. Yeah. Exactly. That, that was the. Then that's the man is it's actually way way past that. So oh so Tanita, yours is still ahead of um um Joseph's because you're past the bundle at all. And that that red thing is about dose to to Enix um is, mm -hmm. is for our, our Windows users um because there are some issues with um with uh, line endings and and converting stuff um so that shouldn't have any okay cool so you're you're kind of you're in the home stretch you're in step fifteen or sixteen yeah. Thank God, I was like, no way, how can we just come in? <laughs> yeah, so it's creating the databases. Okay. Um, Joseph's not far behind you. And maybe Mike's going to join us and, and check in with us because I forgot that he, uh, I forgot to ask him. Hey, Mike. Hello. Hey, Mike. Hey, hey guys. Um, do you want to check in with us actually? I, I, I realized I forgot to ask you and um, we're not really talking about anything right now. We're just watching the race between Joseph's machine and, and Tanita's, although Joseph did get um, did get a little bit later of a start, so it's not really a fair race, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so who's cheating, Joseph? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, he... <laughs> you consider using VS Code cheating? Then yes, Joseph is definitely. <laughs> so, what's up with you, Mike? Um, I mean, I feel like I know the answer to that question because I, I, I saw. You, you want to share with us? Yeah, um, I think I, I think uh, uh, today I'll just be thinking of planning the. Uh, the, the 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 call between between us for for the website one stuff. Yep. Cool. And uh, yeah, uh, I think that's it for me. And maybe um, try completing the the homework so that next time uh, so so I can start on week week three stuff. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you? I, I guess maybe you might have, you might not have noticed because, uh, or or maybe you weren't as excited as I was. But um, you did you see that the 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 stuff that we did last week on that ticket got merged in? No, I blame my mails. Yeah, it, it's, it's <laughs> auto auto organizing it for you in a way that's not so. So nice yeah. to that you're you're basic that ran through the, all the um, creation migration um, and yeah. and yeah, should finish in a second and when that finishes you can just push the uh, um, the up arrow and then replace setup with start um, and then if you don't have anything else listening on part three thousand which. Hopefully you don't. Then that'll just go ahead and start your server, and now you can. Well, it's still starting, but you can go over to the browser and um, and go to localhost three thousand and see if it um, see if it's listening on that part. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Localhost <laughs> local colon three thousand. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's <Jesus> involved. <laughs> <laughs> ah. okay. yeah. Secret Santa. Oh <laughs> uh, you're scaring what? me. What is okay? What is this? <laughs> Sharing. I can't see the because no, I understand. Look. 
Secret Santa? <laughs> what? Let's see. Let's see. Um, I think no, I think there's another. Oh, yeah. Something running on the same part. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, what does it say over here? Ah, uh, yeah, that's okay. Oh, that's, uh, this is. I think that's. Yeah, you just have to be patient, I think. Yeah, the first time it, um, the first time it, um, it starts up, it's, uh, it's a bit slow. Um, yeah, Rodrigo, it's, uh, I, um, I went, I traveled, um, um, to the United States at the end of November and, um, I guess I, I started programming a year ago, a little over a year ago. And, um, and then I went and traveled to the United States in November and stayed for that from November to, um, yeah, just refresh it, uh, didn't you? Um, I, and stayed there until Feb, um, beginning of March. And it was like three months without, without doing any coding. And, and then like, it, it took me a, a minute to get back into it, but the, um, I mean, um, it, it really helped the uh, agile ventures to get back into it. Cause we have the, the daily scrums and then it kind of starts me off. Like for me, it's like in the morning. So it starts me off, like getting in the mindset of, um, programming and then, and then, yeah, that it, um, it was not, you know, it didn't take too long to get back into the, the swing of things. Ooh. Um, Jeez. so Tanita, your, your machine doesn't want to, doesn't want to open up the page for you. Yeah. Uh, okay, nice. Well, actually, it's yeah. Me too. I was getting that. Yeah. That without using Docker. Yeah, we we get that in production sometimes as well. Um, like that's one. I I know that's one of the things that Airbrake is is constantly warning. Us about. Yep. Yeah. Visitors controller. This file. Yeah. I mean, all I can say is that normally, um, if you refresh it a few times, it goes away. Um, if it doesn't, I guess we can we can try to figure out what to do. <laughs> I feel like it definitely should be working. Um, refreshed and then goes back to the same Joseph are you are are you in the same are you getting the same error let me see oh yours okay cool yours is um Still so what is that error on your on your machine Joseph is that that to, is that on the production site what? Oh, okay. I haven't started the. Yeah. Oh, all right, never mind. Okay. And no, no luck to neither. You have a different browser you can, you can try. Sorry. Do you have a different browser you can try? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Or a different window. Um, I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's 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 possible we need to have a look at the um okay. at the output in the that um Docker is giving us in the terminal and see if there's something that um something we're missing. Um but maybe try this first with um three thousand. Yeah. Cause it seemed like it, I, I mean I guess we didn't wait to make sure the um um Joseph, have you run the, the start command? Yeah, you need to push the up cursor and and yeah, and do start dot sh. That will start the the server. Um. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Um. So. I guess Mike can 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 verify that I'm not crazy and that we have been using Docker on his machine to to do some some software development. Yeah, really, it's really nice. I actually want to run um, uh, like Docker Docker 
on, on its own because I've just been using end products. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we definitely have um, some stuff we need to we need to work through. Ah, yeah, Justin, yeah. Um, I forgot Steve. that you cloned it again. So I'll need to. Do you still have the copy of the m um, the m variables that I um I sent to you? Like, don't don't show them while we're recording, but um, or while you're sharing. Um, but I, I I think you probably still have a copy in the um in the Slack channel. Yeah. So yeah, you, let me open Slack. Uh, yeah, and see. Yeah, if you're in just yeah, you can unshare. You'll unfortunately you'll need to run through the whole um, you'll need to run through the whole um. I mean, you could try doing a, a Docker compose up with um, and with the tag build and see if that works. Otherwise, um, you might have to do the whole setup again. And Tanita, can you go to the, um, the output in the terminal and and um, go maybe like scroll up to the to the before you made the first request and see if we can see anything that's um, that gives us any kind of a idea of what's happening. Ooh. Just if you can unshare the screen. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sharing the screen. My screen. You are. Oh. Okay. You are, but maybe we can't see it anyways because um, I'm focused on Tanita, so I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, it's. So, it's okay. Yeah. Keep going up. Keep going up. Oh, how um, do you go past this? Sorry. I can't go past here. Ah. I'm scrolling my meme. Right. Okay. Is that command to... Um there is you can I, I just actually yeah. learned this because um I um you can go into your terminal settings and you can um and you can set it to, to do like infinite scroll. Um but there's I don't I don't know if it will I'm not sure if it, you'll be able to to see the stuff that um that's already that okay. um uh -huh. so you can I think if you go, to, uh, I'll have to find the exact. Um, I think it's in profile preferences. But um, if you want to, maybe maybe just stop the server and and start it again with the start command, and and then we can see if it starts properly. And hmm. and I'm. I guess I'll have to. Um, I guess I'll have to leave. I'm, I'm not. I, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be starting the marketing meeting or if um, Federico is starting it. Um, hmm. Oh, so f ah. Database is not properly shut down automatically. Okay, so yeah, it seems like it's starting fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe go there and try it again. And I need, I think I need to start this other meeting. So maybe we. You talk on Slack. Sorry, it's um. I would love to be able to actually see this working for you, but I think I'm supposed to be starting. Okay. okay. Well, I'll, I'll yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Let me know. Um, and we'll talk. Um, I think maybe 5 p.m. today we're gonna be. Um. We're gonna be doing stuff for website one. Although I need to, I need to check um, about. Yeah, let's talk on Slack. Okay. Well, thanks guys. Good to see y'all. Okay. Rodrigo. We'll see you soon. <laughs>